this lesson, we're going to discuss shipping and post-sale. On the screen is my eBay for an eBay account that has sold two items in the past 60 days. You see what was sold and the sale dates on the screen. Now, there are various icons that light up in the my eBay console based on the activity of this item. The check mark tells you that the seller completed excuse me, the buyer completed checkout. The dollar sign means they paid for the item. This means the item was shipped and the date you shipped it, and this was that you left feedback, and this last one here is if the um, buyer left feedback for you, which in these ca this case, both of these have not done so. So when the buyer pays for the item, they get an estimated receive date. As I've said several times throughout these videos, the handling time that you select when you set up to be a seller is critically important because it affects that estimated receiving time for the buyer. If you put same business day and it takes two days for you to ship the item, that will create an issue for you. Use a realistic handling time. In a previous lesson, we talked about that, and I showed you how to set your handling time. And we've talked, and we, I've stressed that throughout the lesson, throughout these lessons, because it's very important. Now, as far as shipping, previously, you had to go to the post office, UPS, FedEx to buy postage to ship on eBay not the case anymore. You can now buy postage directly from eBay. For example, for this right here, I'm going to print another label. You'll have an option to purchase shipping from this console, as you see here. Now, I'm not going to rebuy postage here obviously and the information you see blacked out on the left hand side of the screen is the shipping address of the seller myself and the shipping address of the buyer which is blacked out for their protection so you have UPS or FedEx or your options you can select any service you want for example priority mail flat rate, flat rate envelope and eBay provides a discount based on the options you select up to a 30 percent discount and we have additional options here that cost extra and again here is another thing that will affect the shipping time that the buyer sees is your mailing date you're gonna mail it today tomorrow or Wednesday now obviously you can't I'm recording this video on a Sunday so that's why it says tomorrow Tuesday or Wednesday because today's not an option now the advantage of printing shipping here is, is if you use USPS, you can buy the label, print the label, put the label on the package, and then hand it to any postal carrier. You can put it in your mailbox, you can hand it to a carrier walking along the side of the street if you're in a major city, you can drop it by the post office, you can go to the post office and drop it in one of the mail uh, mailboxes outside. It's prepaid, all you do is tape the using packing tape tape the label onto your package and you're done the only reason you'd have to go to the post office is it's if you want to buy packaging or don't have something to mail it in other than that it's completely prepaid if you have the packaging you don't even have to visit the post office and you're getting a discount this is the way to buy postage or for FedEx shipping labels for your items there's no reason to visit the post office you can do everything right here now the best part of this is something you won't see here because I'd actually have to purchase postage is you don't have to pay for the postage immediately what will happen is is when when the buyers money is deposited into your PayPal account the money for shipping will be deducted from that amount you can select to pay it immediately, but the one I would suggest is or recommend is when the buyer pays you, the money comes out of that 
eBay just takes their shipping, what they, the label, out of that and gives you the rest, minus PayPal fees, of course. So it's, it doesn't cost you anything up front to ship. Now, shipping costs are an interesting debate. How much to charge for shipping? I'm just going to go back to the home page here. How much to charge for shipping is an interesting question. I typically have a flat rate. $10 for regular shipping, $30 for expedited shipping. Now, some eBay categories limit the maximum you can charge for shipping. For example, you saw this right here, this um, Club Nintendo Animal Crossing bag. The maximum I could charge for shipping in that category was $2. That's an eBay restriction for the category that I listed that item in. That's the maximum I could charge. Some categories have no restriction. As you see, the cell phone, the iPhone 4S had $10 shipping, but you saw the shipping was only $5, so I actually made $5 on shipping. Now, remember that eBay is going to take a 10% cut of whatever you charge for shipping as part of the final value fee. Also, charging exorbitant shipping fees in some in jurisdictions is actually illegal, but in all jurisdictions, it will discourage buyers. I'm not, most people aren't going to buy a $100 item that has a $35 shipping charge on it unless that charge is warranted. If the item is bulky, you know, weird shape, unweldy, it might justify that shipping charge. But if I'm selling you a, I don't know, a, a Wii console for $100, it's not going to cost $35 to ship that console. A lot of buyers will get turned off by that and you'll make less sales. Some will actually not realize what they're paying for shipping and then rate, give you a lower seller rating later. So being reasonable with shipping costs is the way to go. Shipping is a way to make money. There's no doubt. But be reasonable in your shipping costs. So let's return to my eBay here. So now we have shipped the item and if you point to it it'll tell you the day it was shipped if you buy postage on ebay the tracking number will automatically be entered into the my ebay console which the the buyer then sees you're required to enter that information especially as a new seller so buying it buying your postage on ebay eliminates that as a step. It generates the number and it enters it into the system automatically. As soon as you buy postage, tracking number goes into the system. The seller, or excuse me, the buyer sees that information and gets the final estimated delivery date based on your handling time, when you said you're going to mail it, and whatever service the buyer selected. Offering faster shipping at economical rates will increase sales. Priority mail for most small items is $5. As you see, I charged $10, so I made $5 on shipping, and the buyer got the item in like two days. So the buyer's happy. The buyer doesn't know. Most people, unless they're sellers, don't know what shipping actually costs. Unless I go to the post office regularly and use priority mail, I don't know what it costs. So... That's how you can make money on shipping, as long as you're smart about it. Charging $10 is not unreasonable when it costs you 5 That makes you an extra $5. Now, you're going to pay a dollar to eBay, so actually you only make $4. But that's still $4 you didn't have, and you didn't have to do anything extra to make that $4. Multiply that by 100 items, you made 400 bucks in extra money just from shipping. So, setting a balance between making money on shipping and not being exorbitant is something you'll want to do as a seller. Now, printing a label, and I'm going to 
I'm going to actually reprint a label here. As you see, there's the label, and I can print it. And this is what I'll this is what I'll put on the package. I'll actually take this, tape it directly on the package. Obviously, it's going to print full size. Now it says to print to purchase and print your shipping. They'll log on to PayPal. That's not required the first time. The only reason it's saying that is because I've already shipped the item. And it's just showing me a sample of the label. As you see here, it doesn't have a real address on it. If you can see the screenshot, I know it's a little small. But that is what the thing will look like. Now, while we're here, let's talk about a couple other things. First of all, you see your performance. There are, there are a couple levels. Mine is standard for this account. The reason, One reason why is because I haven't made enough sales. For it to be a above average or above standard or top rated, you have to do, they redid this, but at, as of this video, you had to make at least 100 sales in a month to get above standard. And obviously, you see, I haven't done that. I've made two sales in the last 60 days on this account. But your performance range is a general thing that lets you know how good you're doing. Buyers do not see your performance rating. If they go to your page... They do not see what your performance rating is. That is sim simply something for you to judge how well you're doing as a business measure, especially if you are a heavy seller on eBay. How well am I doing as a seller? Where can I improve? Or am I doing a great job? So that's what that is. Um, you'll also see, if we look at all selling, we haven't sold anything. But you'll also see, I don't have anything listed for now, but you'll also see selling limits. As a new seller, you will have selling limits. This is the amount you can sell in a calendar month. Number of items and a total monetary value. These limits will be removed as you sell more and more items, as you get detailed seller ratings, etc., but just to let you know, while we're in my eBay, that's what that is in case you saw it in some of the screenshots. We'll actually cover it in more detail later, but you probably saw it in the screen capture, so I just want to touch base on what it was. So I'm going to go back here to selling. Okay, so we've talked about shipping an item. We've talked about adding the tracking number. And we've had a discussion about charges for shipping. In recap, I'll stress this one more time. Ship your items in a timely manner. If you tell the seller you're going to ship it within two days, ship it within two days. Don't ship it a week later. Buyers will get aggravated if they're told their item's going to be there on the 20th of the month and it shows up on the 31st. They're going to get aggravated. They have a chance to leave you, gives them a greater likelihood of leaving you negative feedback, which does affect your feedback or your feedback score, your positive percentage if you don't think you can meet shipping deadlines either hire someone to do it for you or only sell when you know you're going to be able to ship items in a timely manner shipping is one of the most important things as a seller that you could control from your wherever you're selling from to the post office or FedEx, you can control. And the amount of time that that takes makes a big impact on how long it takes to get to the buyer. Now, what you, the postal service or FedEx does is completely out of your control. But if they buy priority mail, they're expecting the item in five days, but it takes you four days to get it ready and get to the post office. Well, they're not going to get it in five days. It's probably going to be six or seven, which comes into a weekend so we're probably now talking seven or eight. It's not going to make the buyer happy. Be reasonable with shipping costs. The balance between making money on shipping and being exorbitant, like we've talked about. And when we sell an item, we want to get it out the door as soon as possible.